How's it going everyone? I'm Al and today we are on the map Grez Van with two awesome pros, one from the South Korean region and one from Europe. First of all, we have our Protoss player. He is Hero. His opponent, a very calculated and tactical Zerg player, it is Eliza. Now, Eliza, I think, is a very underrated Zerg player. Like I say, very calculated, very clever. And he looks at the game in a very interesting way. Now, many, many years ago, for those of you that have been around StarCraft for a long time, you'll know Eliza well. He was, he was up there with the best Zergs in Europe back when uh, Serral wasn't a thing. And, you know, the European scene was considered to be vastly inferior to the Korean scene. That's not the case anymore. I've mentioned this a ton of times in my cast. I think in many cases, yes, the Korean scene is still very strong. No one's taking that away. But the Europeans have caught up quite well. And the North Americans, don't, don't take them out of it. Um, the rest of the world, essentially, is, is playing some really good StarCraft. And I think StarCraft in general is very good. But Eliza was there back then, and he was he was viewed as one of the tops in Europe, um, along with Lambo. So both of them have been around the game for a very long time. Very skillful players, and um, yeah, they know a lot about the game. Eliza, very very clever player. Um, unfortunately, today his opponent is a very scary Protoss player. It is Hero. Yeah. He is considered to be the best Protoss in the world. He is solid. He, you know, he's game changing. Like, that's not even a joke. That's not overemphasizing it. He literally did change the game. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. So far, it seems like a relatively standard opener. elaser has got all the information. The Overlord's keeping an eye on that cyber core. Seeing there's no research. Yeah, ooh, that clutch adept coming in to save the probe's life. I was about to say that probe's going to go down. Some good work there from Hero. All right, third base is coming up. I'm sorry if the video is a little bit disjointed. I had a bit of a, <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a bit of a cough halfway through a sentence. It's like, oh, well, that's inconvenient. Anyway, here we go. Two adepts busy irritating harassing doing their bit to keep the zerg player guessing we see oracles behind this very hero-esque nothing crazy they do get in only one worker kill that might not even well no that wasn't from now there's one recalls to keep them nice and safe hero just wants to get those bad boys out of there and what I do? I pressed the button now. What did I press? I was trying to get my follow hotkey and I pressed D for some reason. Oh, that's the production. No? Yeah, it's production. That's what. Sorry. Ooh, that's a nice little present. Thank you. Here is not gonna complain about that. Couple of queens busy being positioned well to get rid of it. No workers yet at this base. Oh, oh he actually does get it. All right, it's nothing. No, that's not too bad. So so far, four workers going down. Not terrible. It's not a terrible defense. I think Elaza. Yeah, he's probably not going to be happy with it, but he'll be okay with it. Hero's third base is on the way up. He's got a lot of adept moving across. What does he have in his main base? He's got no further tech yet, right? Ah, there comes the uh, yeah. There it comes, the Twilight. Forge also coming up behind it. Queens are going to move out. They're going to try to intercept the Adept before their Shades can do anything. Zerglings are here. They're ready to help stop it. Where's that pesky... Uh... Well, there's one of them at least. There's another one. He's splitting up his oracles. That's interesting. Adept are just going to shade around. Try to deal with a little bit of the Creep Tumor. I think this was the initial intention behind the energy changes to the Oracle. Um, if you don't know, so the Oracle's revelation ability, the one that makes it see invisible units and see units as they travel across, 
it had its cost reduced and its duration reduced. This was a couple of patches ago. The concept being that the Oracle has to help with creep spreading. And that's kind of what you know the hero is doing now. That's the intention. You have a couple of units go with the Oracle. And it's clearing a little bit of creep. Give the, the uh, Protoss a nice creep clearing mechanic. Ugh, that's a couple of Zerglings picked off for free. Oh yes. Going in, getting a couple of hits. That's four worker kills again. So far, worker count. Eight workers down for just a single adept. Here I'm playing a very clean early game. I think is going to have to do something if he wants to, you know get the win in this game it's not impossible but I don't think now it's the start that he would have wanted he's taken a little bit more damage than he would have enjoyed but maybe he's got time to hit a good timing or something with the fourth base timings all right here is just going up um, where's the lasers had his up for a little bit or at least constructing for a little bit there we finally see the blink I feel like that's that's a seven minute blink almost. That is uh, much later than Hero normally does his blinks. Melee upgrades for a laser. So he's going for plus one melee, but following it up with ten hydras. Okay. Maybe the hydras are just there for a little bit of safety. I said ten, I mean fourteen. Maybe he's trying to get a little bit of work done. Or it's just going to be a nice Hydraling Bane um, composition, which, yeah, works well. Hydraling Bane works really well. The Hydra's been buffed, obviously. A little bit of movement speed. It's had a bit of an attack buff. Nothing too drastic. But, yeah, Hydra's competitive now. I don't think Hydra's in a spot. Ooh, let's have a look here. Stalker's trying to get something done here. Zerglings are going to go move across to get with the Adept. And now the Hydras can start working on these Stalkers. Oh, trying to bait him into that Stasis field. Um, but yeah, the laser does not get caught. These Adepts are still here. Still being irritating. Hydras, you're going to have to start doing something. Okay. Adepts are cleared up. That's two more workers going down. Now look at that. Those resources lost. The difference. Woo! Massive difference there. Templar Archives coming up as well. Bunch of Zerglings get caught in a stasis trap. That's obviously not what he would like. Now we have the second army moving around. I think it is spotted. Oh, well, if it's not, it is going to be now. Don't want to lose those for free. Ooh, Hydras are a lot quicker. Yeah, Hydra's uh, movement speed got improved, so they now move quite a bit quicker. It helps. They need to be buffed. The Hydra's are a cool unit. And Storm is on the way. That is for the menu. Storm obviously shreds through Hydra's as if they don't ex uh, exist. And, as a bonus, shreds through Zerglings too. And Banelings for that matter. Hydra upgrades on the way now. Isn't that air? But... Hero has no air units. Why is he getting plus one? Unless he's planning on still getting extra starports. There's a single starport. Except that it's not a starport. Ooh, a couple of banelings. Why why is Hero doing that? Maybe he's thinking about the late game already, but you'd expect him to have some form of uh, storm. Some form of you know Stargate fleet beacon. Ow ow. Couple of decent storms going down. Yeah, they rip through these light units. Oh, Hydras. Take a storm full in the face. That being said, oh I need to go back for this engagement. Sorry, they're engaging on two sides here. At the same time, this Hydra Ling Bane army was attacking on this side, breaks through a single cannon here, goes into the mineral line and says, Goodbye! 
You used to be a mineral line. Twelve workers going down before he retreats with what's left over of the Hydras. That was a very nice engagement and uh, yeah, tips the scales a little bit more in his, well not in his favor, but a little bit closer to being even at least. So that he's not uh, completely outplayed by it. Elias has got a good army, he's maxed out. Hero's not. Hero's still getting this plus one that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's 100, 100, so 100 minerals, 100 gas. It's not the biggest deal, but, you know, those resources could have been used. Okay, now we see another Stargate coming up. So it was preemptive. Okay. Oh, Banelings. Banelings. They go for the cannons. Choice to me sounds a little bit expensive. So whenever you're trading gas units for something that costs just minerals, it feels like it's that's a pricey uh, trade. Laser keeps doing these two-pronged attacks. I love what he's doing here. Oh, uh, bye-bye, Oracles. These Hydras doing some good work here. At the same time, these Banelings are still around. Don't forget about them. They're going to go in once again. Oh, 26 workers going down. Elaza bringing himself back into this game like an absolute champ. Just moving in two armies. One this side, one that side. I love ex everything that he's doing. Now he's coming in this side again. He's doing to Hero what Hero does to Zerg players. And I, I, I'm here for it. And I love it does take a couple of storms to the face, but at least he reacts quick enough. Pulls back. There's a lot of storms sitting there in Hero's army. Now Hero's going for the fleet beacon. But he's got to hold on till then. Okay, five more workers go down. The bailing's going to come rolling through. You want to not hit the Archons. A couple of them do. Eh. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. Oh, here's more. Couple of big storms though. Oh, the High Templar get hit by the Banelings. Stalkers blinking forward. Yes, they are going to get rid of the Hydras. Eventually. But some Ling reinforcements coming in at the same time. Oh no, I missed something on this side again. I can't keep up with the laser. Look at him. He's just doing too much. So we're going to look at these Banelings rolling across. Oh, this is another big one. Boom. 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 28 workers going down. So more Ling reinforcements coming up. Eliza eventually going to draw back, but look at that. 16 to 13. How much? 69 workers going down. So here I had a great early game, but since then, Eliza has been playing like an absolute monster. Destroying mineral line after mineral line. That's 32 workers going down just in this last, you know, what is that? 30 seconds. That is crazy. Elaza finding a nice way to penetrate those defenses of Hero. And now Hero's up against the ropes. He's now going to try to defend, sit back, wait for carriers that he's not producing because he has not much money. He has not much money. Yes, thanks. Yoda having a little bit of a cast here. Not much money he has same time there's a bunch more armies placed around ready to go gonna see these bindings rolling in again da, 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 da. keep rolling 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 uh, these ones are not gonna make it through nah oh well he tried going in once again here his army is not looking quite as menacing as it was earlier another bailing into the mineral line that's 20 more workers going down at this stage, Elaze is mining so much more, he doesn't mind taking the inefficient trade. I mean, there's so little mining going on for Hero. There's more than a, like a thousand mineral um, income difference between the two. That's huge. And you can see Hero's production. He's sitting on 126 supply. Oh, big, big Ling run by here. Yeah, a couple gonna go into the main. A bunch gonna stay here behind. Recall does happen into the natural to try to get rid of these. 
And there's a warp in, okay, so not quite as dangerous as it could have been. But here we go, more Lings, more Banes, more Hydras, let's bash into this base once again. Couple of storms going down, Baneling still chasing the workers. There goes the Nexus. Baneling's coming from multiple angles here. Archons trying to make themselves thick to, to absorb all of those Baneling shots, but this army is starting to wear very thin. Here is now less than three digit supply and there is no more army. GG! Eliza takes an amazing win after taking a little bit of damage in the early game. He really pulled it together and just multitasked and double pronged attacked his way into a victory. I really hope you enjoyed this game. I thought it was fantastic and good to see Eliza pulling off a win against, you know, one of the best in the world. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.